So what we're doing here is an oak woodland restoration project, and what we're trying to do is set the, these oaks, restore these oaks to probably eight, circa 1800 landscape conditions. And what that was is probably a condition in which we had frequent fire, um, burning out the understory in this area, and creating a nice open oak woodland, kind of a grassy understory. And with a history of um, Native American use in this area and fires not being suppressed, lightning strikes not being suppressed, we think fires actually occurred in here like in a low intensity backing um, sort of manner through creating these nice oak woodlands and this diversity of understory plants. And what's happened over time with the lack of Native American burning and then we got really good at suppressing lightning strikes uh, through fire suppression is that we've had this encroachment by Douglas fir and other conifer species over time. And what that's doing, it's literally choking out, robbing nutrients, light, water, nutrients from these big old oaks. So we did a study with the uh, University of Montana where we cored all the trees, Douglas fir, and small diameter trees in here. We found out most of them are about 70 years old or 40 years old. So they've really come in in the past 70 years. We also found out that much, many of our oaks, these big old black oaks that are probably a couple hundred years old, they're actually starting to die. And if you hike around Whiskey Town, if you hike around the Shasta Trinity, the Klamath Mountains, even, even some places in the Sierras, look through the forest and you'll start to see some big old oak snags. So you'll start to see evidence that some of these areas were actually oak woodlands probably 100 years ago, 70 years ago, really not that long ago. And there's actually that's an entire plant community that's starting to blitz out on the landscape. It's really turning into Douglas fir forests. So what we're doing here is we can't burn hot enough to kill the Douglas fir that's here. If we burn that hot, we'd have the chance of escape. We'd also kill the oaks. So we can't use fire to restore this ecosystem. We have to, we have to use heavy equipment. So we're using actually small scale logging. We're using a logging private timber company to come in and actually physically cut out the Douglas fir, remove the Douglas fir and the small diameter conifers. And what we intend to do is restore this, rehab it, let it sit for a couple years, and then we're gonna use prescribed fire to try to maintain this landscape as it was in the 1800s. It's a lot to do, but it's, it's very exciting. And it's a plant community that I think at some point in time is gonna be endangered. It's gonna be rare in the Klamath Mountains and the Sierra, especially with climate change and all these other stressors that are occurring on the landscape.